Turbo Trading with Head Trader Robert Knight, MBA. This is a uh, talk on how to tell if a stock has overhead. And uh, it was asked by one of the uh, members asking the question because it was on the CYRM and we can, this is a security stock. And from two, it surged up to 665. Now backed off a little bit here. But you can see big, strong rising channel on it. And I said, I, I had said that the resistance was in this 575 6 area. And so overhead just means, and, and I did make a bit of a mistake on this because I hadn't realized that this had a 1 for 20 reverse split. So this action in here, uh, anybody that owned that stock at that level, really they've been, they've been, um, They've been reversed out of the stock. That's why it was able to run as much as it did. But it's still it's still the same. The pattern is the same. If people had bought this stock, let's just say it wasn't rolled back, and you had some volume in here, you know, between this in here around five and a half to seven, and maybe up into this level at nine. These are these people all had bought the stock in there from you know from ten down to two, so an eighty percent pullback, and so like any level of resistance, they're just happy to get out of a stock um, at any at any point they can, and we see that these resistance levels are you know very prominent. Look, at, I mean, like a stock like Tesla here. We, we draw this all the time. There's your resistance at 80, you know, in the 880 level 900. This big overhead in here. And anytime a stock tries to get up to through a resistance level, all those people that bought it there, they they want to get out of the stock. And that, that puts the pressure on the stock. So that's why it's, that's why it's a resistance level. Because two things happen. Uh, People that were in the stock previously uh, or just want to get out of it. Uh, people that bought it at $2 see that this level here, everybody wants to get out of it. So they'll sell. And those short sellers that missed the buy at 2 and 3 see that it comes into resistance. And so then they'll short the stock. So whenever I say a stock has overhead, all that means is this: it's coming into an area of heavy resistance. And in this case, I put it between... 550 and $7. Well, as luck would have it, it traded to 666. And there's your resistance got up to the, and I just drew that line in randomly and you can see how it corresponded. Double top there, right at that resistance level. So that's what, that's all I mean when I say a stock has overhead. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Reach new levels of trading proficiency, become a member at turbotrading.biz.